Y'all wanted me to answer, am I dating? Do I have a new boo? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hey girl, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So this is a long-awaited video. Y'all been waiting for this video for so long. Y'all, y'all want to know the tea on everything and what's happening. So I'm here to inform you right now. It's about to get juicy. Okay, this is the video y'all been waiting on, and I'm gonna give y'all all the tea on everything that's happening. Y'all have the right to know just because y'all are a part of my journey and that without y'all a lot of these things would not be happening so i'm so grateful for y'all and of course i'm gonna tell y'all everything so yeah so we're just gonna get right into the video the chit chat and i am gonna be curling my hair um this hair is by harula hair i love this hair y'all and my stylist dyed it for me this was a black wig but she put some highlights in it because you know i want to just spice it up a little bit you know so yeah she put like a little some blonde streaks to brown all that you know so yeah so shout out to them for sponsoring this video but i've been having it straight so i want to put some curls in it so we about to do that right now and i use the t3 curler this is literally the best curler ever y'all and also i need to go get the wand because i really i've seen arrogant Tay uses the wand for his curls that he does on his girls so i really need that okay so yeah girl so yeah we're just gonna hop right into it so i got everything written down right here so i don't miss anything i had wrote um on instagram like a little pat on no i wrote like um what did i put no i made a little ask me whatever what topics y'all want me to talk about so i don't miss out on this in this video because i wanted to you know cover everything just get the curl in my hair so the first thing we're gonna talk about is y'all want to know if i'm still working my phlebotomy job and the answer is no i'm not still working at the phlebotomy job i am a full-time youtuber social media girl marketing all that they'd be like what do you do i'm like oh i'm in marketing <laughs> um i that this is what i do full-time and it's crazy because like i never thought it would be like this y'all know i've been doing this for two years now and y'all like this god has been on my side he has blessed me with y'all y'all are so faithful to me so i am just blessed to be able to call this my full-time job now and this was how it happened so basically before my surgery i had got covid and i was just away um i was not messing with that job i was like trying to be out the hospital um because i had covid and um i was about to get my surgery so i needed to you know recover and make sure i was recovering so i was able to get my surgery and i will always tell the doctors that oh my god like i still feel sick i would be lying y'all <laughs> i'll be like i still feel sick i can't go back <laughs> And then, so he would kept writing me excuses not to go back. And like, y'all, it was damn near like a month. So, and they can't really say nothing because, you know, um, they're taking it serious, especially in the hospital. And then right after that, my primary care lady who I was working with for like my um, pre-op stuff, she had wrote me an excuse. Um, what did she do? Oh, she wrote me an excuse not to go back to work. So, so that was taken care of. So basically, when I was done with my surgery and I was supposed to go back, at that point, um, I was making, you know, a good amount of money from like YouTube and stuff. So it was basically no point to go back. It was like, at that point, like, what am I going back for? At this point, what I'm making at the hospital was like part-time money, which was, but basically it's like pocket change because I was only working four hours. So it was just going to be a waste of time and honestly I was getting a lot of a lot of sponsorships so it was just no point to go back so I was like no I'm not going back so so yeah and you know it worked out it is scary because it's just like oh my god what if it doesn't work but 
this has always been like goal to make this my full-time job um because i did start out phlebotomy as a full-time phlebotomist working in a clinic and then when my youtube start you know growing i was like oh my god i want to put more time into this so i'm just gonna you know go part-time and i can always go back to full-time if i wanted to so i was just like you know what i'm gonna go part-time so then that's what happened and now here we are today full-time youtuber social media girl whatever you want to call it um <laughs> i say it's like marketing i it, it is like marketing you're just working for other companies and you know marketing what they want you to promote so so yeah i work for myself now and it's crazy like has life changed as being like a full-time youtuber so it has changed a lot like up and i love what i do so that's what really keeps me motivated y'all keep me motivated y'all like where the fuck is the video where's the video we want the video like and i'm like okay right. so i gotta be on it for y'all but at the same time i still love this is what i love to do in general so it keeps me pushing and uh, I get to wake up when I want to. I don't got to answer to nobody. I mean, I got deadlines to meet and stuff like that. But at the same time. But I don't have to answer to nobody. Like, I call my own shot. So, if you want to be a, like, a full-time YouTuber and stuff like that, you can do it. Like, I'm from a small-ass town, y'all. Like, I'm from Racine, Wisconsin. Like, a little-ass town. Like, and I just, you know, just went for it. And have y'all seen that movie, um... I don't know it just came out it's like a little pixar disney movie it's called soul basically if you didn't watch it yet i'm not gonna spoil it for you but it's a message in there where it's just basically like you need to live your life you may think something is your purpose just because you're good at it you don't really know because you're not living your full life to its fullest potential so you just need to you know start living and discovering new things about yourself i just needed to live my life and I mean, phlebotomy, I was good at phlebotomy. Like, I was good at it. But it wasn't like I feel like I was supposed to be there, you know? That was just, like, something that I thought I was supposed to do. Because a lot of people just don't do, like, social media where I'm from. So, it's not normal. Like, a normal career. So, yeah, I just had to be like, fuck it. Like, we gonna see what this do. And, and that's where that here we are and i'm so happy y'all are here on this journey with me because honestly being a full-time youtuber it's not easy it's not um sometimes i have my days where i just don't feel like filming i don't feel like posting i don't feel like talking to nobody like i don't feel like being on social media i just want to live in a moment and then days i just be like i'm, I'm like on go mode like i want to work like i want to be on social media i want to be engaged like i'm on go mode for real but yeah y'all so that is that so yeah i'm don't work at the hospital anymore but i always keep in touch with the girls that work there um they're always talking to me and stuff like that so so yeah <laughs> and girl i do not miss waking up at 3 a.m going to work at 4 mm -mm. that was just a struggle okay so the next thing we're gonna move into is when am i moving to atlanta as y'all can see my setup is different because everything in my room is about to be packed because i am moving to atlanta it is right around the corner i'm not gonna tell y'all when i'm moving just know yes i did get approved for my apartment i didn't want to say anything until i was approved for my apartment you know people do pray on your downfall so you, i really didn't want to say anything i mean y'all knew i was looking for a place but y'all didn't know like like every detail when i was going back and forth trying to choose a spot and stuff like that so and what's crazy is when i was looking for the spots or whatever um i knew which one i really wanted but my mom was like let's just go and see all the options or whatever so i'm like okay whatever and y'all know my mom is really opinionated so we had did that and then one of the apartments I liked better than the one that I originally liked. So I'm like, oh my God, I think I want this one. Apartment that I really liked that they showed me like an example of. 
um it wasn't ready so they were like you can come back next week and you can look at the one that would be yours that had happened so we went back again and then um the dude that was working with us when we showed up he was just like here are the keys go ahead go look woo woo so then we go back downstairs and say that we're done viewing it or whatever there was this other person that worked in like the um the office or whatever um he was like oh you guys went to go see that one that one's off the market and we were like what the fuck we're, we're here for this place but the man didn't tell us this but it just didn't make sense so this is but why we're here this is why we're back so it's basically was a waste of time so then my mom was like let's just go back to the original one that i originally wanted but when i went back to that one to view it and i was just like walked in and the one that's supposed to be mine um i was just like okay like this is where i'm supposed to be so i was just like whatever let's just apply and then it was a whole process but then yeah i got approved so we moving to atlanta we're moving pack your bags girl because you coming with me too it's gonna be a new journey y'all i have been ever since i got approved i'm supposed to be so excited to go like i'm so like this is what i've been wanting i am excited but i'm still nervous at the same time so i've been feeling so many emotions i just don't know how to feel like i'm just so nervous y'all because i'm from a small town and it's gonna be everything is gonna be so new like i'm supposed to be like so excited like i'm supposed to be jumping off the walls and shit but i'm not <laughs> i'm like full of emotions it's crazy but i know i just gotta keep faith and you know everything happens for a reason so i'm not trying to like you know it's not like i don't want to go it's just i don't know i'm just full of emotions right now it's crazy but I'm just, ex I'm excited to go. I'm just nervous. I'm nervous as fuck. Like, I'm gonna select a few people that I know out there. But I don't have no family out there. So it's gonna be so different, y'all. Like, so different. I'm, I'm nervous. Like, how, if you moved from, like, a small city to a big city, like, how did you feel when you first was like, okay, like, I got approved, I'm gonna go. Like, how did you feel? Like, how, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel, y'all. I know it's like... I'm probably going through like a shift emotion or something. I don't know. Girl, I'm just trying to, I'm just going with the flow day by day and just packing my shit so I can get the fuck ASAP. So, yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's the tea on that. So now y'all know that I'm moving. I'm not going to tell y'all when I'm moving. I am going to give y'all an apartment tour. Um... So be on the lookout for that. So I can't wait. I'm so excited to show y'all the place. <laughs> I'm excited to show y'all. Um, and I know y'all are ready for the moving vlogs. I enjoy moving vlogs. I be so fucking nosy, y'all. Like, I be nosy, like, where she at? What she doing? What she getting for her house? That's that be me. So I know y'all are ready for the moving vlogs. And I'm so excited to start decorating, be in more space, and just be able to call my home my home so the next subject is new did i get a new car no i did not get a new car i'm waiting to get my new car when i move down because that just makes more sense y'all thought my that jeep was uh mine it's not it's a rental <laughs> but it's a real nice rental it's real cute i was really debating on getting a jeep after i started driving it but no it's just a rental for now um and I have it up until I move. So, yeah. I didn't get a new car yet. I'm Y'all would know if I got a new car. Like, I'm not one of them people that don't say nothing when I get a new car. Y'all know. I would say, like, new baby or something. Say something, like, on my story. So, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram so you can stay updated on the T. Okay? So, yeah. This her, This hair curly is just a different vibe because all the highlights and stuff. Y'all, I really like to put, like, oh, yes, like, feathers in my hair like this. So cute. I'm not going to brush it out yet until the end, so. But, yeah. So, we just got this other side. So, it's one more subject yet that y'all wanted me to talk about. Oh, y'all wanted me to answer, am I dating? Do I have a new boo? <sighs> so, if I was taking somebody serious, 
at the moment y'all would not know i'm sorry I just, that is just something i want to keep private and off the internet um i'm not i don't want to show any person that i'm dating because i would rather take my l in private um just because you just never know what relationships especially these days um girl i'm telling you but no i'm how like these things just don't act right okay but um but i'm moving anyway but i don't have like any intentions on finding anybody anytime soon um i'm just going with the flow whatever what the fuck whatever happens happens i'm not really in a rush to you know start dating I mean, y'all probably think I want to date because I got a new ass and want to um, test out these cheeks and stuff. But I don't want to do that, girl. You know, I don't want too many miles on this here new body, okay? So, yeah, no. I'm not dating like that. Um, I'm probably just, you know, giving these little, little teasing conversations. But that's about it. Um, but, yeah, like I said, if I did have anybody serious that I was dealing with, y'all not know. I'm sorry y'all know like if we broke up or something and if i'm ready to do a story time and i need to do another story time and my fucking camera is over fucking heating so that was pretty much it that i needed to cover so i'm just gonna finish my hair and i'm gonna come back and we're gonna get to brushing out these curls and y'all gonna see this lace so yeah so stay tuned do not go nowhere thank you so y'all look at how the curls came out girl this hair is a vibe okay and i am in love so yeah y'all don't forget to check the description box below to get this hair because it bombs because it's bomb it curls good and it dies good so we love and like i said i did curl with the t3 and I just love how these curls. I like messy curls. I don't really like put together curls. That's not my thing. So, anyways, y'all, thanks for tuning in to this life update. I hope I covered everything for y'all, and I cannot wait to start this new journey with y'all. I'm so excited to take y'all along with me. We've been through a lot, and if you're new here, I hope you are ready for the ride. And my OG girls, I've been with me since day one. I love y'all so much. And I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all just don't know how much of my life has changed. I never thought it would be like this. I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I'm on a road to it. I just, I'm not ever going to give up on myself. And I hope y'all do not give up on me. And I just manifested this year. Like I would do like a 2020 wrap up. I guess I could say I accomplished um, most of my goals. Um and i hit 200k which was like a major milestone for me i never i i just felt like it was so far away from when i first started like it's just so crazy girl it's crazy but we are here we're here today and i love y'all so much so yeah y'all so i will see y'all in the next video um do not forget to like comment and subscribe girl and i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all next video